9 News at 10. Good evening to you, friends. Thank you for joining us. Greg and Liz here with you. Another late one for the East Baton Rouge School Board. Plenty of folks still back and forth over this transportation issue since 5 o'clock. Board members have been hearing from parents, bus drivers, even employees about a possible plan to now change the school times. The superintendent believes starting some schools early and some later will be the best thing to work around the school bus driver shortage, but it doesn't appear to be a popular choice with a lot of folks. Perry Robinson joins us live at that meeting. Perry, what can you tell us tonight? Hey guys, of course, it's been a marathon of a meeting, but we are still on the first leg. The school board has spent, again, the past five hours debating this proposal that would impact either the start time or dismissal time for every single school within the district. Now, this was a plan presented by Superintendent Dr. Cedar Narcisse that he created to make sure that kids will get back and forth to school every day as the district tries to fix their transportation issues. Now, here's a quick breakdown of what that plan will look like. Now, each school will will be placed within three different tiers. Now, tier one is all high school students, including parochial and secondary charters. Now, they will go to school at, of course, 7 a.m. and be dismissed at an earlier time at 2.15 p.m. Now, this early dismissal time is to make sure that high schoolers can be home in enough time to take care of their siblings after school. Now, tier two includes most middle schools and some elementary schools. Now, they will start school at 8 a.m. and leave at 3.15 at p.m. Now, lastly, tier three is mostly elementary schools. Now, they will go to school at nine o'clock in the morning and get out as late as 4 p.m. Now, at one point, there was close to 200 people in one room and almost the entire crowd was upset at the proposal. Now, here's what a few people have to say. You are asking people that are getting underpaid to now work more for the same amount of money. That, the math is not mathing. How do you expect these people to give up second jobs to take our babies to school and they're not getting paid? That's not going to work for them. This plan will only throw the rest of the city into utter chaos. You are only making these drivers work more with the same pay that they already said wasn't enough. Go into that emergency fund and pay those bus drivers, pay those cafeteria workers, give them a livable wage. You won't have a shortage of bus drivers or routes to be covered. Now they just wrapped up the uh, community comment section and now the school board is in the middle of talking right now. So a decision could possibly be coming again within, within the next few minutes. Now, Dr. Narcy said that the plan that he did present that he wants this to last through the rest of, of the year if it is approved by the school board tonight. And again, if that motion is approved, then it will go into effect starting September the 11th. Now again, that decision could be coming within the next few minutes. And if that decision either fails or is approved, we will be sure to pass it along on our newscast and of course, the Nine News app. And again, with this meeting, there are still four other items on this agenda, so it could be a long one. Guys, back to you. All right, Perry, give us a holler. If you need us, we'll be here. Thank you, appreciate it. Let's give you a peek.